today is Friday and it's just the three of us because the boys are in school right now. Um, I had school this morning too, but I'm home now. My mom left. Uh, she went to California for her monthly thing, but we're on our way. Where are we going, Bootsy? Nike. Oh, Nike. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What do you eat then? Skinny fats. Skinny fats. Just kidding, I'm not skinny. <laughs> In fact, I gained a lot of weight in nursing school, you guys. You guys can probably tell in my pictures, previous vlogs, but it's whatever. Anyway, I haven't had a chance to kind of like talk about school and stuff. Um, I have clinicals on Saturdays. I haven't been vlogging that or anything, and I actually love it. Uh, it's um, Right now, we're at, a, at the hospital, at one of the hospitals here, and we're at the rehab section. And so far I like it. It's like that feeling where I'm like excited to go. Like I look forward to it, but when I'm there, I'm anxious, but at the same time I'm excited. So I'm happy to learn. Um, a lot of stuff comes back to me from when I used to work as an LVN in California. Um, but since it's been so long, so many things have changed, but some medications are still the same and some protocols are still the same, but there's just so many things that are new that I'm, so I feel like everything is new well when I when I go to school or when I'm doing like school work I try to pretend that I don't know or like I, I pretty much want to start off clean like I don't have any nursing background and I just want to have the RN mentality this Kalea's outfit of the day she is wearing a cute pink trumpet sleeve short sleeve shirt with some harem pants and they have fairies on them and she's wearing her cinderella heels that she got from her auntie vienna and she's got whose hair do you have today jasmine. princess jasmine oh, yeah. hair pretzels are you hungry again we're gonna go have lunch somewhere. Okay, we're at Nike. We're here with Gerald, but I always seem to find cute stuff. Like, what is this? A skirt? Oh my gosh, I really want one. I've never had sweat skirts before. I had Gerald and Kalea go get the car because I went to go um, pick up some pretzels and they're not even here yet. He said they're barely getting in the car. So I got my pretzels before they even got the car. But have you guys tried the uh, Wetzel Pretzels Watermelon Granita? It's so good. Mm. So refreshing. It's much better than the strawberry lemonade. At Skinny Fat's about to have my favorite here. We're having the Ahi Taco Sun and some truffle fries. Gerald got the same thing because he likes to copy me. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really good though. And Kalea just wanted uh, pretzels, right mamas? Yeah. We are home. It's so hot outside. First things first, I'm mama. Turn on the AC, just kidding. Okay, but um, in the beginning of like, when I had this, let's just, let's just take it all the way down. In the beginning of this channel, when, Especially when I was pregnant and when Kaleo was little. I used to do a lot of like haul videos and I don't do that stuff anymore. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got because they're, they were great deals and maybe where you guys live. And if I get this out soon enough, you'll find these deals. First store that I went to was uh, Windsor and they had a $5 sale. A lot of their things were marked down. All of the stuff that were marked down actually were five dollars so i don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm holding my camera i got this sweater i got sweater a couple sweaters but you guys know even though vegas skips fall it's still cute to dress up um i got this burgundy maroonish uh it's fleece sweater but it's one of those like the shoulder off the shoulder things and it's it looks big but it's a size small so I'm hoping it fits me because I didn't have time to try it on and it's just a long sleeve fleece sweater but it's different because it's one of those you know ones that drop 
like so five dollars make me hollers looks and i got this white uh lacy collared shirt and i thought it would be pretty to wear with like a white tank underneath or um to wear like under sweaters or something just to show the collar or with like a black vest i don't know i just thought it was cute five dollars hell yeah and then i got this really long and i got a size medium just so it's a little loose i mean it'll probably fit me fitted now but i was hoping that it could be a little loose and it's this long sweater and it's also long it's gonna fit like a dress and it's got like quilted design five dollars it'll be great for like the winter time to put layers or the fall to wear with like some knee-high boots and yeah so those are five dollars okay so let me just show you this way because you won't see it with me holding it up but yeah they're fleece skirts with the nike sign right here hi zaya and um, I got it in a size extra small. It's kind of tight, but it fits better than the small. The small was really big. And I asked them if it was going to shrink, and she said it shouldn't because it's not 100% cotton. But I love it. It is knee length. Hi, Zay. It's knee length, and I'm going to be able to wear it with my kicks. So it'll be so cute. And I got it in black as well. So cute. Because, you know, this mama needs to be lounging most of the time and these are perfect lounge clothes yes my husband's so good to me yeah the reason why i opt for a lot of like lounge clothes now is because when i come home from school get out of my scrubs i like to still be cute but comfortable because i do run errands i pick up kids and stuff and um as you guys know i love like my lululemon stuff but sometimes that gets really pricey so nike is a bomb go-to lounge brand especially the outlet it's so much cheaper there and um oh yeah and then we do have a lululemon outlet here in vegas and i like to go there for like some pieces that are already old season or whatever but they're so much cheaper i hope you guys can see me okay um now i'm just going to organize like my school work for the week as you can see i think i showed this in a couple of previous vlogs ago how I write down all of my assignments for the next week it's Friday today so I like to prepare I do have clinicals tomorrow and I am gonna get assignments for clinicals but my next at school class or whatever is going to be Thursday it's like almost a week from now but I like to prepare I actually try to study every single day until then and yeah I'm pretty OCD about it I don't know um, I'm getting pretty good grades right now. Pharmacology is like my biggest challenge right now, but I'm getting through it. I'm just getting through it, you guys. So I'm just gonna write down like all of my upcoming assignments right now. Um, I'm going to start marking up my books, the chapters that I'm gonna need to read for the week. And then um, I'm probably not gonna have enough time because we are going out. We still gotta pick up Carson. And then we're going I don't know what we're doing today. We're just gonna run more errands and stuff, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys how um, things have been working with us lately. Isaiah's home, their schedule, Isaiah and Carson's schedules clash so hard. So Isaiah starts school at eight o'clock, so he gets up around six o'clock in the morning. Carson starts school around 9, 11, so he gets up around 7.30, eight-ish. And what sucks about it is drop off and pick up my kids don't take the bus i've never had them do so we were thinking about letting them try this year but i don't even think there's a bus stop near us anymore anyway gerald interrupted me because um we frequently look at the boys grades online and isaiah had an f in band so the reason why i moved from the bed over here is because i went ahead and emailed his teacher like what is going on why is isaiah getting an f in band he's never had an f before why band um and then gerald comes up and was like i just got an email from the teacher <laughs> i guess that grade doesn't count it's just kind of like to give the kids a reality check because they're not taking it seriously or something like the beats clapping he was telling me about something with clapping so i guess that grade doesn't count Whew. 
my kids better not be getting any F's because they'll hear it from their mama. Here's the new brew tea bar. It's so much bigger. I love it. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at their new sign up there. So cool. So the layout is the same as the original one. It's just bigger. They're gonna get more tables here in the front. I love how the new menus are gonna look up here. It's very refreshing. Congrats to the fellas at Brew Tea Bar. Sue, um, Lewis, and Dennis. They are the three owners and they've always been so friendly throughout the years. So I'm very happy for them. Um, for opening up this location. I remember asking them a long time ago, can you guys open one up in Southern Highlands? And they're like, oh, not yet. But it's nice, it's nice to see them open up in a bigger shopping center here in Henderson. Um, it's so funny because I ordered one Hokkaido slush large. This was the only large one that I ordered. And then I ordered Gerald's regular avocado, Kalea's regular milky slush, and they ended up giving us four large total out of three drinks. But um, they're very nice. They're always like thankful and grateful and for, oh shoot, low fuel already? For um, for our support, I guess, they know how much we love them. But um, Patty from Stilettos in Sin City, she's gonna host another give back luncheon. And I'm not gonna be able to make it to this one, but um, I did ask at Brew Tea Bar if they can sponsor and so they're gonna give some gift cards for the goodie bags. I, I'm not too sure what the charity is yet. I haven't really looked but I think they're going to be collecting canned goods for this event so it's for a good event. And I got my boba. It's boba Fridays. 